Hey guys, this is Full Gaming Instincts here, and welcome to tutorial 15 on how to create a first person shooter game in Unity. For those persons who are new to my series, I recommend you go and view my previous tutorials and then come to this one so you'll have a better understanding of what's going on and how we've arrived at this point in our game. So, if you are following my uh, series thus far, you'll know that today I'll be showing you guys how you can add a score manager system using the GUI. Now I showed you guys how you can use the GUI text to display your score, but I'll simply show you guys another method in which you can do so, because someone on Facebook requested that they wanted the game to look a bit uh, organized, I would say, uh, everything looking or in one form so as you can see the GUI text is good it displays our score you can scale it down to suit the bars here but it's not that presentable for them that's how I see it so I'm gonna just show you guys pretty quick that I can do that you just need to check for the link in the description below and download the package and import it into your project good stuff you get a tutorial 15 folder within that folder I have a script folder with the GUI score now all you need to do is just go to your uh, score where it says score here and take the script and just drag it on here we'll need to disable this one though the GUI text handler and what we'll need to do after that we'll just go to the uh, GUI text as well and we'll disable this and we'll, one last thing we need to do is go to our uh, enemy damage script uh, it's in tutorial 4 enemy damage and just open up the enemy damage we just need to change a line of code here now, if you notice, it has GUI text handler dot score plus equals to 10. Now, we're not using the GUI text handler anymore. We want the, uh, we want the enemy damage script to uh, reference for the GUI score. So, all we need to do is very simple. Just go here and you can take out all of this and you can just type score where we had GUI uh, where we had text handler sorry and you just save this code in mono develop and you just go back into unity unity is gonna load it up at the corner uh, your right corner at the bottom of the screen and we get no errors and you just hit play and you'll notice that this new school system in which we have for our game works out just fine so you guys can choose between uh, whichever uh, score system you'd like if you want to use the GUI text uh, or you want to use this GUI uh, kind of but kind of a cool display here so yeah that's pretty much that as you can see the score is going up and we just killed someone our score is now 10 and we killed this one now and our score is at 20 yeah so that's pretty much it guys yeah that's be that's pretty much that so yeah I hope you like this tour I know it's pretty short but yeah I hope you guys still like it if you do you can give me a thumbs up uh, do remember to subscribe keep yourself up to date with my channel and in the next tutorial we'll be continuing on with our uh, fixes to our game we'll be focusing uh, on our surroundings you know adding some more uh, assets to our game some more uh, stuff like that and make our game look a little more game like and pretty much cool uh, we're gonna go a little bit into the particle system of unity as well so you guys are gonna go to the unity asset store and you can download some package there and import it in and we work with that just to make our game look a little game like we'll just make some final touches to this here but most of the uh, final touches that we'll be making is going to be made on our basic city I'll show you guys a cool way you can actually spawn enemies someone on our on Facebook and YouTube they actually uh, said it was pretty cool how I actually had that uh, kind of particle effect in the air in my uh, demo game called uh, Dead Speed yeah so I'm gonna show you guys how you can actually do that you know because they actually seem to want to learn how to do so so I'll show you guys that so once again hope you guys like this tutorial if you do you can give me a thumbs up do remember to subscribe keep yourself up to date with my tutorial series on how to create a first person shooter game in unity so until next time continue making games guys peace